the question is write in centimeters great so i i want to use the diagram again because i think it's very useful you can do this let's practice that mm cm meter finally km and then you draw your arrow changing from meter to kilometer and we can also convert back and forth yeah so kilometer to meter meter to centimeter centimeter to millimeter all right so next you're gonna put 10 100 1000 so same goes here 1000 100 and 10 all right then remember mm changing to centimeter so it's a smaller unit going to the bigger unit here is all divide so divide all at the top the other way around kilometer to meter is like bigger unit changing to a smaller unit then it's all multiply so you just put multiply 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 all right so we are ready first question number one take your meter which is here you want to change it to centimeter is times 100 so five times 100 there you go 500 centimeter that is correct all right had two so i have 28 meter meter to centimeter you change by multiplying 100 so you add two more zeros one two and that will be it very good part three yeah 7.2 meters so you are moving the decimal spot one two so correct 720 centimeter if you yeah. want to change kilometer to centimeter don't be greedy okay let's not be greedy we do one at a time changing to meter first it's going to be multiplied by 1000 so three kilometer is actually 3000 meter now you convert further from meter to centimeter you're going to multiply by 100 so you add two more zeros one two three four five centimeter all right that is correct yeah, multiply well. by 100,000. yeah shift five times so one two three four five so i need to add three more zeros only add three more zeros so three four five one two three don't forget to write centimeter okay you got it and i look at this centimeter one thing to change to meter so it's here going here you are going to divide by 100 so divide by 100 means the decimal here move towards left hand side because you want the unit to be smaller already huh so 0 0.25 indeed 0 0.25 meter that is correct again you have a centimeter unit so you want to change to a meter unit is divide by 100 so your decimal place imagine is one here shift towards the left hand side two times so indeed you get 2.93 meter yeah Let's very good put number three now purposely change a little bit for the style take note of this diagram kilometer changing to meter is multiply 1000 so when you multiply 1000 means you move towards the right hand side for the decimal point three times one two three indeed you will get 8100 meter yeah perfect correct part four zero point three two multiply by 1000 so multiplying by 1000 means you need to shift this one two three towards right hand side so you will be getting 320 meter yeah perfect when you have to do two conversion don't be greedy so you just do one at a time millimeter changing to centimeter first so it's divided by 10 yeah let's start when you divide by 10 you go to uh, the left hand side one spot yeah so 261.5 centimeter continue to change all right you now going to change to meter right so you need to divide by 100 so divide by 100 one two so i am getting 2.615 meter first step right we always draw the smallest unit first in case you're wondering we probably might have mg who knows in your exam so again we draw the conversion arrows so ton to kilogram and finally gram to milligram everything is 1000 so 1000 1000 1000 same goes to the bottom side 1000 1000 and 1000 and as usual smaller unit to the bigger unit is divide so we always write divide at the top 
Mm -hmm. And the bottom one, we always say multiply, multiply, multiply. So we can always use this diagram when it comes to conversion question, yeah? Okay, let's start. I want five correct, yeah? So <laughs> let's see one at a time. Okay, so teacher can see kilogram here and the question say right in grams. So kg changing to gram, right, is multiplied by 1,000. So indeed, we will get 4,000 gram, yeah? Perfect, number two. Now, when you multiply by 1,000, you shift towards right-hand side because you have to make the number larger, one, two, three. So you will get 400 gram. Very good. All right, three. Kg change to gram, you need to shift your decimal point to the right so that the number gets larger. And indeed, we get 3,200 gram. Yeah, perfect. Multiply by 1,000. So one, two, three. Yes, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Correct. Last one, yeah, don't get it wrong. <laughs> shift towards the right three times. One, two, three. Fill up with zeros. So it's 15,200 gram. Yeah. This unit shows square means that this unit will need to times itself two times. So 10 times 10 will get you 100 millimeter square. All right. One meter is how many centimeter? All right. Yes. You memorize naturally. So what happened when I say one meter square is how many centimeter square? What happened is you take 100 times 100. Remember to times itself. How many times? Two times looking at this clue. If you see square, it means you need to multiply by itself two times. So 100 times 100, how many zeros are you looking at? So right, one, two, three, four, 10,000. There you go. One ml is also known as one centimeter cube, which indirectly means 1,000 ml is 1,000 centimeter cube. Can you see the conversion? One ml is one centimeter cube. So 1,000 ml is 1,000 centimeter cube. Agree? Indirectly saying one liter. Okay, because 1,000 ml is one liter. One liter is also 1,000 centimeter cube. So these are some of the things that we need to memorize naturally. Let's start. What is your answer? The first one would be 3.2 liters. Yes, I agree with you. 3.2. 10 cm cube. Very good. You remember 10 cm cube. 23,000 ml. Yep. 23,000 ml indeed. Yeah. Hey, if you really like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more mathematics tips and tricks. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.